Well, I just uh, just stopped for a coffee at the Red Rock Cafe there and uh, chatted with a few people. That's a pretty cool BMW and sidecar. Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? And that'd be the Kettle River. And this highway is Highway 33. There's the Kettle River again. And that wind is trying to throw me around. But I wanted to get out today on a nice long ride because this will maybe be the last really good day of the season. Temperature is going to drop from here and it's going to get cloudier. And yeah, today is a nice day. The wind aside. And uh, I think we're coming into Westbridge now. Yes, indeed, there's the sign. As you can see, this area got really burned out several years back. That was a major, major fire. And there again is the Kettle River. We should be coming into Rock Creek soon. And here we are, Rock Creek, there's the sign. And here we are now at the uh, Rock Creek Hotel, the Prospector Pub. Good food here. Bike friendly. So we're uh, we're out of Rock Creek now, heading toward a Soyuz. A lot of uh, open grassland here, very fast highway. Okay, can you see what that van says, the writing? Happiness comes within, that's why it feels good to fart. <laughs> I don't know. Why would anyone write that on their vehicle, eh? It's a pretty sight. I don't know whether you can see uh, or not, but those uh, snow-capped mountains are the Cascades in Washington State. And there is the town of Asuyus down there. I'm not going to stop. Got to watch here, boy. Fresh tar snakes. Hate those. As you can see, Asuyu has a very desert-like climate. It's 
So we're just moving through a Sirius now. Uh, it's a shame it's so windy today, though. When uh, when I'm at speed up in the out in the highway, it's trying to really throw me around. However, like I said earlier, it's uh, it's probably the last day of the year that I can do a longer trip. It's a pretty neat little town of Sioux. It's uh, like I was saying, it's a desert climate, so very dry, hardly any rain. A uh, little bit milder winters than we get uh, a little further north in Kelowna. And uh, yeah, it's kind of got a Latin vibe to it, you know. It's nice. I guess this would be the main drag. And here we are in Oliver. So this is Vaso Lake, and that's uh, between Oliver and Okanagan Falls. That's a pretty neat area. There's a lot of bighorn sheep around here, which sometimes make it down to the road, so always vigilant. It's uh, very deserty around here, very, very dry rocky, as you can see. just about at the uh, 240 kilometer mark and we're coming into Penticton you can see it in the distance there and Penticton is about 80 kilometers away from home yeah, the water is pretty choppy today it's all that wind it really is windy I thought it was calming down for a while there but not so. So here we are, it's uh, getting to be late afternoon and we're coming into Kelowna, just crossing the bridge on Lake Okanagan. And I guess we've come, what have we come? We've come about uh, 320 kilometers since we started, got another maybe 10 to go to get home. So uh, it's time to end the video, I think. So thanks for joining me, hope you enjoyed some of that and uh you ride safe have fun and i'll catch you on the next one